right in. Oh, ending the oh, oh, my God. Very good ending. Very what good a ending. Beautiful ending. Uh, Heist Gracie pretty much controlled the tempo of that fight up until the last minute and a half, let's say. And then Mr. Sakuraba did, in fact, as boss alluded to, go for the knee bar. Yes. I have to say, guys, I'm impressed with Hoyt. He did real good. After his last fight against Takada, I thought that was so boring. And he's doing really good right now. He's doing really good. He's striking good. He threw some kicks. He threw a high kick. But he's you guys made a good point that because it's unlimited, how much are you going to put out during the fight? Yeah. If, it was, if it was a time limit, you put out more. But since it's not a time limit or an unlimited round, how much are you going to work? Yeah. So Sakuraba may maybe just taking his time. Taking his time. Oh, no, I know, I know. I, I, but he, but I, I just say the performance Hoyce is doing of well. Hoyce is doing well. It's there much he better is. than I expected. Mr. Nobuhiko Takata, uh, the trainer and teacher of Mr. Sakuraba. Sakuraba has, as we know, gone quite a bit further in real fights than Mr. Takata has. Mr. Takata having the pro wrestling background. There it is. Oh, chopping bomb, away. Bomb, bomb strikes. strikes. Nice bomb strikes, too. Good bomb strikes. Those are really good, but he's going for the knee bar. Hoist almost, almost tapped. tapped. He almost. almost tapped out. But he's chopping away. Hoist just doesn't want to give up. You know, I think Hoist would let the leg break, really. I think uh, Hoist would let the leg break rather than tap out. What do you think, Maurice? He'll let it break it. That's the way they are, some kind of Brazilians. I mean, they're tough competitors. Like Alan Goyles, when he fought Frank Shamrock, he got heel hooked. He rather had just broke his, broke his heel than give the fight up. Some yeah, guys are like he told that. us. He told us that. He said, my spirit won't let me tap. Yeah. You know, the, the funny thing is, though, and that and Alan goes against Frank Shamrock was at the end of the round. If it would have been in the middle of the fight, it would have been disastrous. But it was the end of the round, so Alan stood on his corner with one foot. Okay, there it is, uh, Sakuraba really trying low, for that. Yeah. And Hoist is defending well. He's uh, pushing with that right foot. And well, that's the point. He should have pulled the toast now from uh, Sakuraba. Everybody's there. getting smarter. You can't. I mean, sure, the Gracie may be kind of an old school style in a sense to the new age fighters, but they're prepared to fight the new age fighters as far as knee bars, punches, kicks, and what have you. They're not stupid. There's so no way. along with the new breed of fighters getting sponsored, it appears that Gracie has gotten sponsored as I'm well. Saying. He's been a student of the game also. It's pretty pretty obvious after that first round against one of the greatest fighters in the business currently. And here we go, round two. The sensational matchup of Hoist Gracie versus Kazushi Sakuraba. Hoist looks pretty fresh. Yep, and so does Sakuraba. This has been far, but, far better than we even imagined. Boss, oh. let me ask you a question. If you was to fight in this fight, regardless of who the opponent may be, how would you pace yourself? Would you be one run off, one run hard, or would you just like just I take it how you feel? I would like my corner say things to me like, go for like 30 seconds, explodes constantly, and then take take it easy for four minutes, see what happens, and then explode again. But I would try but to But there's no judging. Hoist Remember? coming in with a jab, and then now they tie up on the ropes. Hoist going for a trip takedown, but not getting it. But there's no judging, so what do you do? Yes, it's true. It's but difficult. in the exploding, in the exploding time that I give, like 30 seconds full power, I hope to to knock the guy out. To knock course. the guy out. Yeah. Okay, now they're tied up in a little bit of a clinch here. Um, I expect some knees from Mr. Gracie. There it is, chopping away at that left leg of Mr. Sakura. Now Hoist throws the left knee up, but it doesn't do anything. It's a it's a light thing just to keep him honest, so to speak. Uh, Sakuraba is reaching around behind, grabbing Hoist's gi belt, uh, his black belt. Also strange is that the corner suddenly moved. The Gracie corner is actually giving him uh, <laughs> the instructions uh, in, a, in the neutral corner. Yeah, they're following the fighter. I don't know if that's in the rules or not. Maybe it's not in the rules. Uh, no. That, that's interesting because I happen to have the rules right here. And it says, cornermen can move or cannot move. The competitor and the cornerman shall abide by any judgment. Uh, Competitors may have up to three people as cornermen who yes. are requested to stay in their corner and non, not contact physically to the competitors during the match. So, they have not, not in the corner. Well, they must have, maybe that's part of their special rules. <laughs> yep, <laughs> could be. It must be. It must be, because the, the judges and referees at ringside are not making a stink about it, so. Well, the judges are watching the fight. That's not their job. That's more for the referee, if he can, or the people on site that work for the company. Yeah, the security people. Oh, there he is, one of the world's greatest rock and roll guitar players, one of the greatest ever, Eric Clapton, a pop icon, parallel to none. Hoist oh, is kneeing away, inside knees. Sakuraba answered back with a light right knee to Hoist's rib section, just sitting there like he's bored. 
Uh, I think he wants Hoist to run out of gas. He's uh, he's thinking about, okay, give me something, Hoist. Give me an opening. But Hoist is really keeping him close, not really giving him anything. Let me count. How many degrees is that? Uh, One, let me count the belt. Like seven or something, huh? I think he's uh, it's either sixth or seventh degree black belt. It's pretty high, I guess. That's, That's pretty high. I how many black belts do you have? Uh, I got some from kicks here and everything, but I mean, jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu is really hard to get. Oh, you know? yeah. So it's not like a, not like a karate uh, belt. Maurice, yeah. did you ever get a black belt? No, only a brown belt. Taekwondo. Yeah. See, this rule is, see this, this, what's going on right now. This rule issue here. Here's, nothing's happening. The referee wants to make some action. Now they're complaining because he's wants to break. The referee is trying to institute a break. He's trying to say, okay, break. Make a fight. Yeah, because it's, it's just boring. Yeah, because this is oh, what... No, I think the, the leg is hooked in and he, he cannot... No, they it. want to break him. He wants to break oh. him. Okay, they're having a controversy already. So now they have a controversy because of the rules. You see, this is what happened with the rules. You should just have the regular fight. Uh, you know, this is the kind of fight that most people had expected this would be. The first round was a surprise to us and probably the rest of the world, but this second round is pretty much exactly as we thought it would be, either on the ground or standing in a clinch, just sitting there waiting, for the, guy, sitting there waiting, there waiting, waiting for the guy to get tired. And uh, I think that... Yeah, the come in, see, he should go over there and talk, discuss the corner as well, because there are corners all over here. Look, the, <laughs> No, his leg was out. Okay, but... Sakuraba... This has almost become like court TV here. They're talking about rules and not fighting. They're, they've like literally almost taken a break. It's amazing. <laughs> See, there's got to be rules in the fight. <laughs> you know? Because it's so boring. But let's see, we'll figure it out. Oh, there's the stop now. That's going to take its toll. It, it is. I mean, those foot stops do hurt. Oh, man. They can break your bones. Oh, yeah, they can break that instep easily. Uh, one of the first people that I ever saw do that was Marco Huas. <laughs> yes, Paul Varland. You Paul know, yes. UFC number seven. He hurt Paul Varland. We foot. had uh, Peter Schmidt, uh, the Thai boxer yes. from Holland. He did yes. it in Thailand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I saw that. And while he was waving to his um, mother, who was in the audience. <laughs> yeah, then Peter Schmidt in that fight was also dropping the downward elbows <laughs> on the back of his head and the, and the medulla, he which is actually not legal, even legal in Muay Thai. Yeah, that was a good fight. Peter that Schmidt was, was a fight. Peter Schmidt was a crazy guy. <laughs> yep. He still is actually. I hear he's doing pretty good now. He's doing good now. He yeah. uh, straightened yeah. things out. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's Helio looking on. I wonder what Helio is thinking. Uh, he's probably thinking just take your time, Hoyce, which Hoyce is, but unfortunately so is Mr. Sakuraba, giving us really not a lot to talk about as far as the fight going hey, on. If you notice over here, Steve, all the corner men on both sides are on the corner. They're not by, by the rules here. Okay. Because there's Takata over there, yep. and there's the, the Gracie clan over here. Nobody's following the rules. I think that because there are no rules in this fight, <laughs> that this piece of paper that we have before us basically goes right out. Well, the actually, the only one following the rules is Mr. Helio. Helio Gracie's staying in his corner. <laughs> yes, he is. He's the only one following the rules. <laughs> Can't he grab the belt now, Sakuraba? Then he grabs his, the belt from uh, five minutes past. Voice and tries to twist him or something. I mean, the thing is, I think this is a, a matter of attrition. He that's a smart move. That's a smart move. Use that like you would in a hockey fight. Pull it over his head. Oh yeah, he can do that. It's yes. Of course he can. He can't take it off and use it though. But he can take it over him. He can take it over. Maybe he's going to put another. One. Well, listen, well, right, now, it around the rope. right now he can't do anything because his arms are going to go so high. But what's, hopefully he has a plan here. Five minutes have passed, and he's grabbing the gi, but he hasn't done nothing with it. So, you know, hopefully this leads to something else. If anything, and you guys both know, he's creating a distraction because yes. in Hoyce's mind, he's thinking, what's he doing? So that takes him for a moment out of what he's doing with the chopping of the knees. But Mr. Sakuraba's just sitting there playing around with the gi. He might have something up his sleeve. Uh, I, if he drops straight down, I don't know what he's got his... Oh, he's just keeping busy with the knees, the inside knees, and I have to tell, man, that it's what I said in the first place, they're going to hurt at the end. If I was judging the fight, which I'm not, because there are no judges, but I'd say Hoist is winning right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Hoist is definitely winning the fight right now, but Sakharov is smiling. You know, I, realistically, guys, this fight goes into third, four, five rounds. Are these gentlemen going to be able to continue in a, in a tournament to fight Eagle Volchanchen? Well, let me say this. Through the, the great fight of the fighters, Nobody figured either one of these fighters are going to do the next round. That's what most of the fighters are thinking. They're thinking this is going to be it. If Sakuraba wins, he has nothing to gain, really, by going 
into the next round, he beat the Gracie. If Hoist wins, they figure he's going to drop out. So I don't, if it goes to like 45 minutes to an hour, people, a lot of other fighters think that they're going to drop out. And what is going to, what is going to happen actually, if, if Hoist is going to win and Hoist is going to drop out? Which brings to mind, if, let's say, Hoist Gracie wins, and he cannot continue. Now, Hoist is pulling guard. Look at this, look at this. Okay, he's pulling guard. Sakuraba's got his arm straight. Nothing doing. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful count on Sakuraba's guard. He is so well balanced. Unbelievable. Are you, you saying, Steve? Okay. We do not have any alternates in this tournament, but the way they're going to address the possibility of a, a fighter who wins dropping out is they go to the, okay, this is in block A. Block A, Igor Vovchanchin won his fight, and whoever wins between uh, Hoist Gracie and Mr. Sakuraba, uh, if they drop out, they will go to one of the gentlemen from block C who lost, and they will replace whoever drops out. Let's say if, for instance, if Mr. Sakuraba wins this fight but cannot continue because of exhaustion or injuries, then one of the losers from block two, which has yet to happen, will take his place. The, and the way they're going to determine that is that... Oh, he's pulling it up. He's pulling that gi up. <laughs> Fuck Robert's having fun out there. <laughs> he really is. You know, this guy likes fighting. He has every every time he makes something up. You know, that's true, boss. Th this guy, to me, is a true artist. He is. Because every time he fights, something new and different happens. Uh -oh, look at this. Okay, I got him. <laughs> oh! But he really can't get it right now. No, and Hoist knows that this could potentially be a problem, but I don't think Hoist expected this, but he should have. Because <laughs> Sakuraba. Wearing the, wearing the gi. Yes. Well, with Mr. Sakuraba, a fighter, is, he's always got to expect at least the unexpected in the fight. And wearing the gi, I'm sure they've worked out in their dojo to work with the gi to work against you, the guy, the person wearing the gi. Well, Hoist Gracie in his last fight was actually a submission wrestling fight. Uh, in Brazil against Valige Ishmael with Gies on, and the Gies definitely worked against him in that fight. It did. It was a jiu-jitsu fight. And it was a great... It's another. I think, I think Walid is known as a Gracie killer, yeah? Yes. Yes, he is. He's beaten three of them so far. And in, uh, in jiu-jitsu, that's good. He's, like I said, the sports... And this, the sport we're in now has evolved to a level that it's not, really, it's not barbaric, it's not brutal. It's a science now. It's a science in the way that who's the smartest fighter, who's the best conditioned fighter, who's the most complete fighter. And, you know, when you got specialized sport like just jiu-jitsu or just kickboxing or just karate, it's a little different. These guys now are complete fighters. They're complete in every aspect, and they're going to get better. You know, I completely agree, Mo, and there's only really been one serious injury in the sport of mixed martial arts and no-holds-barred, and that happened in an unsanctioned fight in Ukraine mm -hmm. where uh, a, a gentleman, unfortunately, you know, lost his life. But in boxing, for instance, there have been over 350 deaths. Yet boxing is pretty much cowed down to by certain senators in the United States in, in favor of Trump. Okay, look oh, at this. Of course, for the, the punch. Flurry of punches. A good solid oh, punch. Good body. body. Good body punches by Hoist Gracie. Good knees from Sakuraba. Counting back. Uppercut by Hoist Gracie. Right hook by Hoist Gracie. Hoist boxing well here. What started off to be a less than exciting round is now turned into something interesting. Hoist Gracie exhibiting some boxing ability. Yes, 10 minutes past the round, and Hoist is throwing punches. And he did, there were solid punches to the body. Yes, it was, he was effective punching. That was good. That was almost striker mentality. Yes. Striker technique. Uh, his power wasn't really that, uh, let's yeah. say, a Bob Chanchin or even a Maurice Smith or Boss Root for that matter. But nonetheless, he's reminding Mr. Sakuraba that here it is, I've got something else for you. If you give it to me, I'm going to take it. Exactly. Yeah, you got the uh, $20. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it is my 50, baby. <laughs> you got 20? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Steve, you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And here well, we go again. Well, we're having fun place. here at ringside oh, in sure. Tokyo, Japan at the Tokyo Dome. We got the best plays of the house. We best got seats. the best seats in the house. For the Pride Fighting Championship 2000, Boys Gracie versus Kazushi Sakuraba. Second round into a unlimited time limit fight. This could go on for a while, folks. Well, right now, if we go to this round here, this will be the second round. will be a half hour into the fight. Okay, he's, he's going to pull it over his shoulder now. He's going to peel it off. Sakurai is really getting into Hoist's head here, but unfortunately, this is more show tactics than anything because Hoist has answered back, but he's answered back, but it hasn't really hurt Sakurai yet. I, I suppose the chopping away at the legs may have its toll later in the fight. Yep. But those knees... <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> He's like, that's old school technique.